Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports Today. My name is Shane Dias and today we are going to be talking about the World Athletics Championships which of course are coming to their final stages which means that obviously the racers are among the best of the best athletes because again, remember you have to make it through the heats, qualifications, then to the finals. So, and of course the fact is in the finals generally speaking is where you will see a lot of athletes save their absolute best for which means not only breathtaking performances but also world records being broken and that's exactly what has happened today on more than one occasions again there were five finals that took place on day eight of the world athletics championships and we are going to go over all of them one by one in a little bit of detail of course the way we normally do so the first interesting result was of course in the 400 meter hurdles women's event where sydney mclaughlin who remember even before today was the world record holder retained her uh, dominance of this sport by some style again she ended up finishing first claiming the gold medal ahead of femke bowl of netherlands and Delilah Muhammad of the USA. But what was noteworthy about this particular performance was not just the fact that she won gold, but the fact that she broke the world record, which she only held. And not only that, she broke it by a massive margin, about more than 0.5 seconds, if we're being exactly precise with the timings, which, as you know, in the world of athletics, massive jump in time. So absolutely great showing from McLaughlin in that regard, because she not only ended up bettering her world record, but did so in a significant manner. So obviously, massive, massive achievement. But again, this wasn't the only final that was held today. There were other finals of note. So she ended up, by the way, in case you're wondering, she ran 50.68 seconds. That's the new world record. And of course, it's in the name of McLaughlin. But as I said, there were other events also which were pretty noteworthy in that sense. So uh, there is, of course, the javelin throw for women's where Kelsey Lee Barber of Australia retained her crown. Remember, she had a previous time in the last uh, World Athletics Championships also. She had one gold in this event and she ended up retaining her uh, gold medal year. And she became, in fact, the second Australian woman after Kathy Freeman to retain or to defend her javelin title at the World Athletics Championship. She claimed that gold with a throw of 66.91 meters. So again, pretty impressive showing from the Aussie and she ended up beating out Kara Winger of the USA and Haruka Kitagushi of Japan to end up winning the gold medal. Massive showing again and she's done, no doubt done Aussies proud with a throw like that. But again, the other major final of the day took place in the 400 meters men's event and Michael Norman ended up getting uh, the gold medal and this gold medal was in a way a redemption story of sorts for him because remember in 2019 he couldn't even make it out of the semi-finals in the same event because he ended up suffering a thigh injury and to make things worse in recent times there were people who have been questioning whether or not he could get back to his best because in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, he only ended up finishing fifth, which means he didn't even claim a medal, despite being one of the world's best in this particular discipline of 400 meters men. So it is a redemption run for him in that sense. And he ended up beating out uh, Kirani James of Granada and Matthew Hudson Smith of Great Britain, a rounder of the podium, claiming the bronze medal. So obviously, great showing for all of these men, but the headlines will naturally go to Michael Norman because this was in many ways a redemption arc for him and he successfully redeemed himself in the eyes of many but also himself with a gold medal win that many would say was a long time coming so the other uh, noteworthy uh, winner in the 400 meters women's this time around was of course Shawne Miller Uibo of the Bahamas now again it's worth noting that uh, Shawne is someone who has actually uh, you know traded between disciplines mind you this is the first ever medal that she's won in 400 meters because prior to this she was generally um, she generally preferred competing in the 200 meter events and in fact after winning this medal she did say that she will soon be returning to running 200 meters which she described as her quote unquote true love so obviously massive uh, win for her in that sense that she can sign off uh, from her 400 meters career by winning a gold medal and then say that this wasn't even the field which she was most interested in. She prefers running 200 meters. That's massive and it shows the kind of natural talent and uh, you know physical attributes that she has in that regard when it comes to just being able to compete across multiple disciplines with that little effort. And she beat out uh, Marlede Paulino of the Dominican Republic and Sarah Williams of Barbados who ended up of course claiming the bronze. 
and the other event and last but not least of course in this case was the 35 kilometers race walk in the women's division and this medal too was again unshockingly claimed by Kimberly Garcia of Peru why do I say unshockingly? Well, because this isn't even the first medal that she has won in this particular World Athletics Championships in the same discipline. In the same discipline, I mean in the walking category. She had won the 20 kilometers gold as well. So she was naturally the favorites for the 35 kilometers, but being the favorite, going out there and executing it are two very different things. And that's exactly what she ended up doing. Again, she ended up beating uh, Poland's Katarzyna Zedzlibo to win uh, the gold, again, uh, Zizliba from Poland won the silver and the bronze was claimed by Xi Jiang from China. Now, obviously, uh, don't forget that this is not the end of the World Athletics Championships as such. There's still two more days of jam-packed action and we will be bringing all of the results and analysis for you guys on Sports Today. Remember, Sunday is a very important day. Sunday, I mean tomorrow early morning because Neera Chopra, Chopra and Rohit Yadav are going to be in action in the men's javelin throw final so do stay tuned in for that we will be bringing you the results and reactions from that as well for now i'm going to take your leave so thank you so much for joining us if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it share it with your friends leave us a comment on which of these particular gold medal wins impressed you the most or which was your favorite don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already last but not least don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you know every single time it is that we are going live as always i've been shane Dias. i'm grateful that you've joined us and i'll be with you guys again very very soon bye bye for now